In this video, I'm going to be starting a brand new hardcore series. I plan to transform this world and build lots of cool things. And today's goal is to build a starter base, where I can farm food, store my items, and have a place to call home. I think it turned out really great, so stay tuned to see for yourself. And enjoy the video. Hello everybody, and welcome back to the first episode of my hardcore series on this channel. I have done some series like this in the past, but this is the first one here, and it's the first one that I'm doing live voiceover on, so... I have some really cool plans for the first episode, and I hope that it all goes well. But I guess the first thing I have to do, like any Minecraft world, is just get set up first so I can start building. Maybe some iron or diamond tools. And honestly, this seed looks pretty good. I really like the plains and mountain range. So I guess I'll just head this way. And I'll look out for some stone so I can get my first stone tool. Honestly, I probably should have grabbed a couple of pigs or sheep over there. But I guess I could always go back. Let me get some stone first and then I'll loop back around, I think. And then maybe I'll just try to find a cave early on. Alright, I've got my stone pickaxe. I'm gonna mine up enough stone for all of the other basic tools. And looks like there's a cow watching me. He's cheering me on for this series, hoping that I get far. Okay, I've got the first cow in my inventory. A single piece of beef. And the sheep is right here. I probably want to get a bed before I can sleep. Because I don't really want to fight monsters. I think this first episode will be focused on building a cute little starter base. Or a big starter base, I'm not sure yet. I think I also decided I want like, the architecture, or whatever that would be called in this world, to be inspired from Breath of the Wild or Tears of the Kingdom. So if anybody has played that game, then yeah, that's what I'm going to go for, at least in this episode. Just the general feel, maybe. I might not follow it very well, but that's my idea, at least, and I'm hoping that it works out. I'm going to melt my food, and I do see some coal right here, so I guess I'll go ahead and go get it. There might be some iron as well. I kind of hate how dark caves are in shaders, because I don't really like mining in the dark. I usually use like Fulbright, which I prefer, but let me know what you guys prefer. I guess if the cave is completely bright, it kind of takes away the dangerous aspect, or just being in a cave aspect in the first place, but I just like it more because you can see everything. Yeah, but it looks like there's no iron in here, so I'm going to keep on going. Another sheep, I'll steal him. And there's some more stone right here, I should probably get furnace, because I really need to eat. I will have to wait here, but it's not that big of a deal. Or you know what? I think I can make a smoker. I just learned the crafting recipe recently. I didn't know it for so long, but I think it's four logs surrounding the furnace, so I'm gonna go try that. Okay, I was right, so I have a smoker now. Let me melt up all my food, and then I guess I'll keep on exploring a little bit. And maybe while my food melts, I'll get some more wood. I collected a stack of wood, and I have melted most of my food, so I'm gonna keep on exploring, like I said. I should have enough to last me a while. I guess what I'm mainly looking for is just a spot to build a base. And then once I find that, I'd obviously need to find the materials to build a base and the tools, which I just need to go caving for, which should not be too difficult, hopefully. There's a lot of petals in this area. I could steal some of those, because they do look really good. But I can always come back and get more too. I kind of want to build near spawn, so I'm just looking for a good spot. These mountains are really beautiful. I want to build somewhere like this, but I just got to find the area I like the most, so... I'm gonna keep looking. Also, oh, I need one more wool for a bed and it's turning nighttime, so let's see if I can find that. Then I'm gonna go check out on top of this mountain because it might help me see my surroundings and I could find a spot to build or a sheep. So that's where I'm gonna go. Oh, actually, there's a sheep right here, so I guess I'll just go get him. And there's a whole village. Nice. Might be able to get some stuff in there. So I definitely want to sleep because I don't want these villagers getting attacked. So let me just craft up my bed as fast as I possibly can. And there we... Oh, nope. Oh, not nighttime yet. Okay, the first villager house, a bed. I'll take it because I'm evil and I want to steal from the villagers. I'm joking, I love villagers, but you know, I might need a second bed, so I gotta take it. Also, it doesn't look like anyone was living there, so I don't think they'll mind if I steal it. Or at least, hopefully not. Alright, who's in here? A blacksmith? Hello? Ooh, some bread. And two free iron pickaxes. Nice. And I just got three achievements. I hate achievements so much because I just finished a video getting all of them. Which, you know, now that I think about it, that video isn't out yet, so... I think it's coming out next week if this is uploaded when I think it's supposed to be. So... It was a very difficult challenge, though. It took a lot of energy. There are some free hay bales which I'm gonna steal, because who doesn't love free hay? I could also trade it, get some free emeralds, and there's some more up here. Other than that though, villagers do not have much loot, so I guess I'm on my way once again. 
This villager was trapped in his house from a tree. I have freed him. I'm the hero of this village. What is this house? Ooh, a toolsmithing table. Which is actually kind of useless, but I'll take it still, because why not? Oh my gosh, it's so bright. The shaders are crazy. I'm using the complimentary unbound shaders for anybody curious. I don't think they have a config on them, because I just reset my computer, so this is like a default profile on there. Which doesn't look like I would want it to look, but I'm way too lazy to redo all of it, so yeah, I'll leave it like this for now. It still looks really great. Also, this is a new spot. This looks pretty good. I really like the river there. Especially if I'm going for Breath of Wild vibes, I could build a bridge or something across. Then in the future, I could build a whole something on this edge. You know, I may have found the spot that I'm going to build already. I could have like a base there, something in that cave. And a path could be going up, kind of like that Sidon village area if you guys have played Breath of Wild. I need to go find out what it's actually called because I'm just disrespecting that game now. Let me go look it up. Wait, no, I just remembered. It's Zora's Domain. I think I might try something like that here. But uh, I need to collect all my stuff to build it still. I don't want to build it with an iron pickaxe. I think that would be a pretty bad idea. There is a cave here, but it doesn't look like it goes down to anything meaningful. So I guess there is a cave here then. I take it back. Ooh, fall damage. Don't hay bills like cushion your fall? Yeah, they do. All right, objective number two is now active. Find a cave. Oh, perfect. There's also spruce right there and another village. So I need to go over there. And I just realized I was playing on like 24 chunks. I don't want to play be playing that high. I just got a new computer recently thanks to all of the support on the channel. So I can actually play with mod packs now. So thank you everybody a lot for watching and supporting all of the videos. I have a lot of new ideas coming and even maybe some more possible channels. So stay tuned everybody for that. And once again, thank you a lot for the support. Even if you just watched the entire video all the way through, that's more support than most people that watch my channel are given. Or I mean, even if you don't watch all the video, I still appreciate all the support. I'm just trying to say thank you. Sorry, guys. <laughs> but yeah, it means a lot. And the channel has a bright future. Anyways, this village looks really small. And there's a cave. I don't think there's any iron in here, though. Copper. I always see copper, but I never see iron. Some more coal. I'm at level 5. Yeah, it seems to be no iron in this area, but there's probably some if I go down the cave more. I just don't want to bump into any monsters. I don't even have an axe. I guess I should craft another one. Ooh, I need one more stone to do that. There we go. So let me go down here and check. Because I would like to get some iron armor. That would help me go into some more dangerous caves easier. There is another achievement, Monsters Hunted. All right, I don't know if I see anything down here, though. Doesn't seem like it. And this spot has nothing, too. Ooh, two iron. Is that worth it to get all the way down there for two iron? Honestly, no. Because then I'd have to stack all the way back up. I think this is a more promising route to go. I can't go down there right now, though, because look at all those monsters. It's like six zombies, three skeletons. And skeletons do a lot of damage. I think you can take like three arrow hits if you have no armor on. Okay, little water cave. These are usually pretty safe. Okay, I do actually see lots of iron in here. So let me craft some doors. I don't want to drown by accident. And I guess I could mine this piece. Okay, there's one. Hopefully the other veins are bigger. Ooh, two back to back right here. So this is at least like six. Does that go into a cave? Ooh, it does go into a cave. This might be worth checking out. But I just gotta collect these couple pieces of iron before I go down there. Okay, there we go, perfect. Ooh, my iron's floating away. All right, there's more coal, but no iron yet. But I'm sure there will be iron. I almost blew this creeper up. I jumped over his head. I gotta defeat him. Ooh, calm down there, buddy. Another iron right here, but it's behind a waterfall, which is okay. I can still get it. And yes, it's actually even bigger than two. That was five pieces. Another piece of iron. Nice. I'll go ahead and steal that. Ooh, a nice vein of eight. I'll take it. That seems to be it for this little cavern I fell into, so I guess I'm just gonna head back up. Actually, I lied. There's something right here. It does get a little bigger, so maybe I should try and melt some iron. Because full iron would protect me a lot more than being naked. I almost just fell. Okay, I gotta be careful. I need to get some more cobblestone for I actually have blocks to move around. Alright, so right here is just copper, unfortunately. But if I follow this path, I could get to some iron right above me there. Which I think I'm gonna do while, which I think I'm gonna do while my iron melts. Alright, perfect. Is it just one piece? Okay, it's at least two. 
Well, it was only two. Or maybe there's more behind it. Yeah, there's none behind it. So should I wait for my iron or should I risk it for the biscuit? Yeah, I think I'm gonna go over here. It seems like there's no monsters for some reason, which probably means they're spawning in a room nearby, which is a good thing because I don't want to fight monsters right now. Ooh, more iron. It seems like another big patch. Mining is pretty boring though, so I think I'll go ahead and speed this up and see you guys in a second when my stuff melts. Because who likes to watch mining for too long? I mean, mining is pretty relaxing, I'll be honest. But I think we should get to some more exciting mining. Okay, I am back and I'm getting attacked by silverfish at my furnace. I didn't know silverfish spawned in mountain biomes. Maybe there's a stronghold nearby. Honestly, I don't know how it works, but I'm actually in pretty big trouble. So gotta be careful. I need some food. These guys won't leave me alone. Okay, I think they're all gone now. Nope, another one spawned. Okay, just have to finish mounting my five mud in and some iron. But I also have to craft my full iron because I have enough iron to do that now. So let's do that. And then I might as well craft a full tool set as well. So I'm gonna make an axe and maybe a sword for now, that's it. I'll keep my other shovel. I'm also level 10, that's pretty good. Okay, I'm officially ready to keep on exploring and I can go way deeper into the cave now. That is if there is a deeper spot to go into the cave. There might not be a... Okay, well, over here looks pretty big. I'm sure there's somewhere to go. Ooh, I got an iron ingot from that zombie. That's so rare. I think I did. Is there anything this way? Ooh, some deep slate and some coal, which honestly, I need more coal, so I'll grab it. This cave doesn't look too big, but I think it's still worth it to go down and check. Oh my gosh, there's an ancient city below me. What do you guys think? Do I risk it? Honestly, I kind of feel like doing something stupid. No, I don't. I don't feel like doing something stupid. I changed my mind already. I think it is time to leave and find a new cave. Right after I grab this iron near the creeper. And I can let him explode. Ancient cities scare me. I'm really scared of the warden if you don't know already. It's just... I don't know, just something about him. I just don't like not being able to see you. One time I was recording a video and I screamed so loud. I was recording live voiceover, but I literally screamed because he was coming for me. But I do get scared really easily, that's why. But yeah, I'm serious, I'm not going in this cave. I'm going back up to find a different one. I'm back at the surface and I'm at this village again, which is very pretty. While I'm over here, I'm gonna go grab some spruce trees for I can get the sapling. That way I don't have to come back over here. I can if I want to, but it won't be required. I just don't know how many saplings I should get. I think eight is probably enough to regrow a big farm of trees, but maybe it's not, who knows? Okay, this cave is ginormous, so I think I have to go down there. Let me just grab some water and I'll show you guys. Okay, I'm not gonna grab water, I'm too lazy, but look at this, this is really big. You know, maybe I should get water because I don't see a way to get down there. And now that I do have water, I can get into the cave. I just have to place it down and let it fall for a little bit. And after I mine all of the stuff in here, I should be pretty good to go. I bet I'll find diamonds if it's this big. And I'll get a lot of iron, which will be super useful. And it's not that dark. That's also what I like about this. Especially where I'm standing right now, there's some um, skylight coming in. I think I'm going to toggle the shaders off while I'm in this cave. But let me know what you guys think. Do you like shaders or do you not like them? Because honestly, I do not really care. Well, I do care. I like them more, especially in a cave. I like to have them off because I like using Fulbright. It might not be how Minecraft was intended to be played, but I just like the feel of it more. It's just a lot more chill. Okay, there's a zombie attacking me. That kind of hurts. Ooh, there's three more zombies coming. Four more zombies coming. Five. Okay, where are these zombies coming from? I guess it's just because it's a really big cave, which does make sense. There's more silverfish attacking me too, and these guys are a pain in the butt because they are so tiny. So it's pretty hard to hit them in the first place. Luckily though, none of them spawned again, so there was only two. Ooh, and there's more iron all the way over there. Ooh, and right here. I'm gonna have more iron than I know what to do with. I don't know if I'll go for an enchantment table in these 100 days. I feel like I want to play it slow, or specifically a level 30 enchantment table. I probably will try and get an enchantment table, but I just don't know if I'll make it level 30 yet. Because that takes a lot of work, and it really speeds up the progression. And honestly, I want to have a slower progression in this series, because I usually try to go so fast. And I think it'll be nice to take it slow. So yeah, probably no level 30 in chance. 
but I might try to get some efficiency one. And it just depends how much I need to mine. If I need to mine a lot, I'll just get a level 30 enchantment table. Because I don't want it to take forever. I am up to almost a stack of extra iron. Or over a stack if I melt it. So I think I'm going to shift my focus into diamonds. Because some diamond tools would be really nice to use. This cave does go a lot deeper. So there's a good chance I get something down here. My first iron pick just broke. So I'm on to the second one. I got both of these for free from that village. And I'm still mining some iron because there's so much of it. And I might as well before I go down into the cave more. I just also thought of an idea which would be maybe just trade with a villager for a pickaxe and shovel. That could just hold me off. And might be a little bit more fun. But I don't know what I'm going to do yet exactly. I'm just thinking. Okay, now I'm ready to go deeper into the cave though too. And there's still an ancient city here. I guess I didn't go far enough away. Well, this is an ancient city, I guess. I just don't know if I make noise down there if I'm going to have a warden summoned on me. So I have to be careful. And there's a spawner. I'm going to check the chests in a second. Channeling book. I should probably take that. Channeling is good. And some gunpowder. Why not? Ooh, I don't have to go down here because there's a mine shaft. Is that? Ooh, and a diamond. Nice. I didn't see that before. I'm going to check this way, though. Okay, I went into Quake Pro to check better. I don't see any hidden diamonds. So let's just go up. And by go up, I mean to the mine shaft right here. I'm going to keep caving for a little bit. Because I need to get all the stuff I need. Okay, I have the diamonds achievement now, too. I'm running out of inventory space, though. Another minecart chest. Ooh, some coal. I mean, that's not that good, but coal is coal. There's another cave here. There might be diamonds below me. I should go check. Ooh, some diamonds right here. How many, though? Two? Come on, please. Two is so bad, but it's better than zero, so I'll take it. And I guess there's actually one in the wall here. Is there only one? Come on, we already know it's only one. Why am I even checking? Then maybe there's something this way too. Two skeletons. Gotta be a little bit careful. I'll let them shoot each other for a sec. Okay, there we go. There's a spawner right here, like inside the ancient debris or ancient city blocks. That's cool. But I do not want to fight a cave spider. I'm good. I think I'll go explore this mini cave right here because there could be something hiding I can't see. Plus, it's not in an ancient city area, so I'm probably safe from the warden. I gotta be careful. I'm getting low. Ooh, and there's a spider. I'm out of steak now. Luckily, I do have a lot of extra food. I did get to a different part of the cave, but I'm not having much luck finding diamonds. There is some redstone. I don't have that yet. I'm also getting ambushed by a bunch of creepers. Luckily, I have my shield to stop them. I mean, I guess I have my sword too, but it takes a lot of effort to defeat creepers. But I guess I probably should. Then I could also start saving up some gunpowder in case I ever need it. Okay, this part of the cave gets a lot bigger. Ooh, two skeletons. I think I should be fine. I mean, I'm getting really low, but... I don't know how the skeleton hit me there. I need to start backing up. I just also have to check behind me. I should be safe. Okay, one skeleton left. And I can block myself in right here. Okay, that was definitely close. I have to be a little more careful now. I can also eat some bread and just regen in here for a minute, which I'm going to do because I don't want to lose my world already. Okay, let's go out. Hey, skeleton. You messed with the wrong Steve. All right, what is in this bigger cave? Nothing? Ooh, a little place here. And two more skeletons. Oh my gosh, I'm in the same situation as before. Okay, I said I was going to be more careful. And I guess I am because I'm running away, but... Let me pull out some pork chops for better saturation healing. And I can't make him shoot the zombies. Why is he still shooting me? Okay, there we go. Anyways, no diamonds yet. I think I came up from this way, so... Let me keep exploring this side. Four diamonds is good. I might go up and just maybe find another cave. I just have to stack up, which will take a second, but it won't take too long. I'm only at Y20, I think. While well, I'm up from the cave, but I also just realized I never ended up getting a spruce sapling. I can go get one right now, but I don't know how I forgot. Dude, powdered snow is so stupid. I just fell into it. But, I mean, it's not all too bad, I guess. The bad thing about spruce trees, too, is that they're so hard to get the top of. So you gotta stack all the way up. And let me just get this one, too. That should give me enough saplings, these two trees. But I might as well mine one more while I'm waiting. Because I don't want to have to wait again. 
Okay, I'm at four saplings and I keep falling in powdered snow, so I'm gonna leave as soon as I get enough. I think I was saying I wanted eight, so just one more. And then I think I'm probably good. Anybody wanna drop one? And yet, ooh, there we go, eight. Okay, I'm going back home now. I actually have nine, that's good. And I'm stuck in powdered snow again. Okay, my water saves me, it's okay. <laughs> I'm also running low on food again, so could collect some cows, which also give me leather, which is super important later on for enchantment tables and bookshelves and things like that or maybe decoration like an item frame i'm a couple thousand blocks away from my house i don't even know how i got this far away well not a couple thousand like 1500 maybe and i don't have a house i just mean the area that i wanted to build in i don't actually remember the coordinates but i can find it easily so it's okay this landscape looks really good too there's this huge meadow biome and then spruce biome they kind of match it i like how they look together have i found that village up there already that may have been the one that was out earlier. All right, looks like I've made it to another village. I think this is a lot closer to my base. And there's some potatoes. I'm gonna go see if there's a farm nearby. Maybe I could steal a couple of beetroot seeds. Because I kind of want to plant those if I do end up making farms. Because the red looks really nice. Okay, well, I got two. I think that's all there is here, though. There's another cow. Here are two of them. I'm gonna steal these guys, too. And I think I'm gonna take a break in mental of this because I'm actually out of hunger. And I only have some carrots and bread for food. I do also have a smoker and it goes really fast, so I might as well just wait and melt it all real quick. All right, all of my stuff is done melting. I melted up a bunch more food too, so I'm ready to go find that spot I wanted to build my base. Okay, I just made it back to the location. I had to run for a while because I didn't know the coordinates, but I am here and I'm going to set up a temporary base somewhere. I think right here on this mini mountain. I got to go find some sugar cane. There's some over there though. Because I kind of want to make a level 1 enchantment table. I also need, I think, one more obsidian in order to make an enchantment table without a diamond pickaxe. So I might try to go find some too. Because there probably is a ruined portal at some point nearby. I've already found one or two. Then I just need to get lucky and have some obsidian in the chest. Alright, I'm at a village and I wanted to get some emeralds or maybe try to with the toolsmith. But for that I'm going to have to level him up a lot. And I don't really have a way to get emeralds, so... I know you can trade coal with them, so I was collecting some for this cave next to the village. Because if I could get like a free diamond pickaxe from them, that would be pretty nice. It would speed up my process by a lot. Also, I did edit the shader pack settings at some point, so if you recognize anything looking different, that's why. The settings I'm using are from Disruptive Builds, and the shaders are Complementary Unbound, like I said earlier, if anybody wants to copy the config. If I remember, I'll leave it in the comments. And if I don't remember somehow, then just leave a comment and I'll reply and add it. I'll probably remember, so I'll just check the description. Ooh, my pickaxe is about to break. That means I have to make another one. And I don't have any iron on me. I think I left it all in my old house. So let me make a furnace really quickly. And while that mounts, I will keep mining. Wait, no, there's no coal left and my pick broke. I guess I'll keep exploring to see what I'm gonna mine next. Okay, yeah, there's plenty of coal down here. So that will help me unlock a toolsmith to get a pick. The extra pickaxe has been crafted. I'm also getting pretty close to level 30. Especially if I keep mining this coal. There are three creepers below me. I've got to be a little bit careful of them. But this shouldn't be too big of an issue. Well, actually, I actually don't have a shield anymore. I forgot about that. But still, I don't think I'm going to die to them or anything. The only thing that makes creepers deadly are their surprise attacks. If you know where they are, then usually you can avoid them pretty easily. I'm not over a stack of coal, but I'll need multiple stacks in order to upgrade one of those guys. You can actually see the ancient city from all the way up here and... These shooters make it look really cool. I zoomed in for everybody you can see. That's what it looks like. Anyways, I'm still mining coal and I actually need to melt some more iron because my pick is about to break again. Hopefully all this coal can get that villager leveled up and then I could get some better tools and start building my base. Okay, there's definitely a lot more coal to mine down here, but I think I might go try to trade because I don't want to mine more coal than I need. And I have like four or five stacks, so... I'm gonna go see if I can get some trades unlocked. And it is raining now. Okay, this cleric is going into his house, so I'm just gonna follow him in here or not. Okay, there we go. I should be able to break this and add a new table. Okay, nice. And then I recycle it until I get the coal trade, hopefully. Okay, I think you have to upgrade him once for them to get a coal trade. So I replaced this like four or five times and he doesn't have it yet. So I think I should go get some emeralds then. I don't know how many I'll need to get started. Probably not that many, but it's kind of difficult to get any because I don't really have a way. So the shooters look great with the rain. This looks really nice. 
The ground looks so shiny and slippery. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, I'm not sure if there's anything here for me to get emeralds with. I do know one easy way to get emeralds, which is the Fletcher. Ooh, there's actually a Fletcher house here. Nice. The only problem with that is I don't have a lot of wood. But I could just hope that I do have enough. Let me try. Okay, I'm at seven emeralds. That's nice. Let me try to get some more. Okay, 15. Let me go try to chip with this other guy again. All right, so I buy how many of these? Wow, that's a lot. Okay, that's kind of sad. He just stole all of my emeralds. But you gotta do what you gotta do. All right, so now he's taking iron. Well, I guess I have to go get some iron because I'm definitely not trading him more emeralds. That's such a waste. Maybe I looked at the trading chart wrong when I pulled it up. Maybe it was iron and not coal. I swear that these guys took coal at some point, though. It might be worth it to run back to the base instead because I have a lot of iron there. But, you know, I'll just leave that there and go get a new iron. I think that's what I'll do at least. But I could change my mind. I was finding coal like crazy, but now I can't find any iron. But iron is more rare than coal, so it makes sense. But I'm just saying, I feel like I'm getting unlucky. Ooh, there's lots of iron down there. But it does look a little bit risky. So I've got to be careful. Oh, there's so many monsters there. But honestly, I'm not sure if I have much of a choice. I guess I'm just going to go for it. But for safety, I will make a shield because that's kind of like a... I know, a shield is just like a mini totem. It can save you. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is let some creepers explode. Because that will do a lot of the work for me. Alright, there's some of this stuff gone. Now I just need to do the three skeletons. Oh, there's a crew behind me. And right there. Okay, still a skeleton shooting me. Ooh, wrong button. Okay, everything is gone. Everything in the immediate vicinity, at least. So I can start mining a couple pieces of iron. Ooh, and some lapis. This might get me to level 30. Okay, never mind. I was super wrong about that. I mean, it'll get me closer to level 30, though. Okay, I'm back up to the surface, and I have a lot of iron now. So let me get into this house, and I'll start mounting it. It is going to take a while because I only have a normal furnace, but as I get the trades, I can trade with this guy. Okay, I have four iron. Let me try the first trade. I'm going to need, like, three more of those. So, if I'm lazy... Wait, never mind. I was going to say if I'm lazy, I could do these. But that doesn't even give anything, so that's not even an option. Yeah, this is definitely going to take a while. Second trade. Two more, or three. I'm going to make a door right here, too, which will just be a slab. Because villagers cannot crouch under the slab, so it makes a very good doorway. So I can get out, but they can't. Which might be a little bit sad, but I'm kind of protecting him, too. Okay, I have six iron, so that should be two trades. And then let's see what he unlocks. Hopefully something good. Okay, some iron tools. Honestly, not really what I'm looking for. I think I should go trade some of my spruce wood, too. So I can get some more emeralds easier. Okay, I'm at 27 emeralds thanks to this villager. He did take all of my wood, but I can get more wood easily. Okay, now let me try some more iron. Okay, it's definitely going to take a lot and a lot of time. But I mean, I guess that's all I can do. I could go back to base to grab my spare iron. That would help. Probably should do that. Okay, I'm back at the village and I think I should have everything that I need. So the first thing I will do is trade iron to the next level. Nice. Then I'll do that one more time. Okay, it seems like he did lock his trade. So let me buy one axe for now. I guess two. We're almost out of emeralds. Oh yeah, and I also have this now, so let me replace all this stuff. A faster furnace. I took that from my base. Is this guy gonna unlock this? He might, but it doesn't seem like he wants to right this second. Okay, I bought one iron pickaxe before I can see what the next trade is. Okay, diamond pickaxe. That kind of sucks, because I'm gonna need another rather than. Because I really need shovels. That's one of the most important tools I'm here to get. But I can just find another villager and try another tool smith. That is okay. Where's their villager hiding? Maybe someone in here? Oh yeah, there's a guy trapped in this animal pen. I'll let him be the next tool smith. Then I just have to buy a couple of tools. Super big waste, but what can you do? And then he also wants to take a bunch of my iron, but he gives me free emeralds for it, so it's okay. All right, he locked it already. So while everybody unlocks their trays, I'm gonna go mine some wood so I can keep trading with the Fletcher. I almost have three stacks of wood, so I'm going to go see if the trades are unlocked and trade some sticks. 
because the Fletcher is also going to lock the trade eventually, so I might as well start using it before he does lock it. Huh. Alright, so I'm at 30 emeralds, and let's go check if I can get some more iron trades in. Villager number one, he still has it locked, and this guy in here, let me see you. Huh? Yeah, he still has it locked up too. Maybe I'm not within the chunks though. Alright, the Fletcher locked his trade too, but I'm at 46 emeralds. Oh, he actually just unlocked it. I had to break a window to check, but now I can trade the rest of my wood. Okay, I'm almost out of stack. That's really good. I'm gonna go see if any saplings dropped and try to move my tree chopping operation a little closer. Okay, there's a lot of trees planted around here now, so I'll wait for them to grow and mine this one because it's pretty close. Ooh, that one already did grow. Nice. Two of the trees are grown over there now, so I'm gonna finish chopping down this one here and then go replant some more and cut those down too, probably. Right now, I'm at almost three stacks of logs again, which is a lot. Both of the villagers unlocked their iron trades, so I'm going to do that. Well, actually, this guy is upgraded, so I should do the other one first. This is just extra iron, but I'm, I'll max it out, because why not? And then this guy, I actually need to be careful, because I need to upgrade him. Okay, he's to the next level, and I can upgrade him one more time. And I think he's the max level now. Okay, so this villager has efficiency to shovel and pickaxe and then an unbreaking one axe so the other person has a better axe but these are pretty good pickaxes and shovels so for now probably gonna buy two of each because i already have two axes and then i'll go back to my spawn chunks for now while well, i also remembered that i have villagers here so it was kind of stupid to trade all the way over there when i could have done next to my house but i can always redo it so it's not that big of a deal and then I'm going to place my sugar cane down here if I can start growing. So I, I do have the option to get an enchantment tool if I want it easily. There also isn't really a good spot to plant these. I guess right here is pretty okay. I think I'll also go look for the extra piece of obsidian and get some more sugar cane while I'm looking around. I think that's what I originally left to do, but then I did villager stuff. So now I will actually go do that. I'm at my old village again while exploring. Yeah, I just decided to chop down these trees because why not? Because I mean, I always need wood. And for when I build especially, I'll probably use up all this wood I've gathered and more if I don't end up trading it. It seems like all of these crops grew while I was just in this area, so I might try to steal a couple of them. Especially the beetroot seeds, because like I said earlier, I do want to plant those. My inventory is really full, and I'm still looking for more sugar cane and ruined portals, so hopefully I find one soon. Okay, I just found another ruined portal, and there is obsidian in it. Nice, there's actually four. I was thinking I looted this one already. But that's all the obsidian I need, so maybe I'll just try grab some sugarcane, then go back to my base area. I just found another ruined portal, so I'm at 5 obsidian. I do only need one, but now I have 5 extra, so maybe I could make a portal without a pickaxe too. But actually, I already have a pickaxe. I forgot about that. I could have just mined obsidian. Either way, though, I found a lot of sugarcane, so it was worth it. And now I just have to find my way back to my house, which I think is like 500 blocks this way. I made it back and melting all of my steak, and I'm making a little area to plant some sugarcane because I'll definitely need more than a stack. And if I just plant it and wait for it to grow once, I should have more than enough for the enchantment table, just for I can channel my tools to mine easier and build. Okay, my sugarcane has been growing for a while. I've been mining some cobblestone while that happens, and I'm ready to make an enchant table now. I don't have all of the bookshelves, but I'm gonna go ahead and place it probably just in this cave for now, for it's hidden away. So I have to keep waiting for that stuff to grow, or maybe go find some more. And since I kind of want to start building soon, I think I'm going to go get some more because that will be technically faster, probably. I've collected over a stack of sugarcane, which is pretty good, but I also just found this temple. So I was just going to loot it. Nothing too useful, but some gunpowder, some bones. Maybe if I make a farm, those would be good. Other than that, though, pretty useless. Okay, I've been collecting for so long, but now I can finally try and craft some more bookshelves. Let me see how many I can get. I need the books first. Oops. Okay, I think I'm actually out of leather now, so if I can't make more, I gotta go get some cows. 11 bookshelves. I don't think this is level 30 yet, but I'm definitely getting close. The reason I decided to get level 30 is because I want, you know, like efficiency for an unbreaking shovel and pick, like I said. Okay, level 18, that's definitely not ready. What about this? Ooh, level 30, okay, so I can enchant here. I just have to go get some lapis and make a grindstone. Thankfully, I think it's pretty easy to make a grindstone. You just melt some stone, and I think it needs sticks and planks. And I also gotta start melting some stone for stone brick, because I'm gonna be using that to build, and I'm gonna be using stone. And perfect, there's the grindstone. I need to get my lapis and de-enchant this pick and shovel. Then I can just give it a try. What will I get? 
Again, Breaking 3, Silk Touch 1. That's actually pretty good, honestly. And then Unbreaking 3, Efficiency 4, which is also perfect. But this Silk Touch pick can give me stone easily. And since I'm building with stone and stone brick, that might save me a lot of time melting stuff. But I do need to enchant another pickaxe because I want one without Silk Touch. And there we go. I got one with Fortune 3, which is... I mean, I couldn't have got anything better than that. So I guess I have two maxed out pickaxes already. All right, I did a tiny bit of mining, but I need two more stacks of andesite, and then I can start trying to build the bridge, which I think it will be right here. I gotta go find a cave with andesite, but I can also get some more cobblestone mob down there, so there should be a patch nearby because they're not that rare. I just found a mob spawner and andesite behind me, so I'm gonna go ahead and mine that, which will probably take a while. I do only need two stacks for now, but in the future I'm gonna need probably way more than that so I might as well just mine as much as I can right now because it would save me a couple trips down here in the future. Okay I finally have the materials to start building so I'm gonna build a seven wide bridge. Okay that should be seven wide. Then I will just continue building it with a gradient pallet all the way to the other side. Okay, the main outline for the bridge is kind of done, but I also need a bunch of dirt to fill these terrain areas in. Because I kind of want this thing to be a flat area. So I'm going to need a couple of stacks at least if I fill it in the cheating way. So I think I should go find a good spot to mine some dirt. I collected a lot of stacks of dirt. I'm not sure how many exactly, but it might be enough to fill in this entire area. So I'm going to go ahead and try. And I've just got like 20 or 30 more dirt blocks left for the center and then this whole place is filled in and I can start building some more stuff. Or I'll probably just do all the terraforming first, which means I'll have to make a path up this mountain next, I think. Okay, I have used up all my dirt, so I'm gonna go mine some more, but I have made some good progress. This is all filled in now and I'm trying to bring this out a little bit to have a very thin path. Or the opposite of a steep path, because I don't want it to be really steep. And I'll have to bring it... To at least up here and then I'm not sure what I'll do after that. Maybe to the top of the mountain or something. Okay I've been at work doing this stuff for a while and I think I finally have a pretty good layout. So it all goes all the way down here like two blocks at least at a minimum wide. And this is the starting of the path that I've been making all the way up here. I think I need to make it go over a block now. I was trying to make it five wide with some gaps of grass in it so it looks a little more natural. I extended the path up this way and I think it looks good still. Now I just need to decide on the path to up here. I just need to have a loop around this way maybe. Because all this is way too steep. So I'm not really sure yet. I'm going to get these trees out of the way. So I think I want to build a little campsite here. I saw it in a video that I'll link in the description too. But it's pretty cute. And I think I'll add a lot of nice aesthetic stuff to the mountain range. So to do that I need to get some wool. Hopefully there's some sheep pretty close. There's a couple up here in this mountain. I'm going to go ahead and shear them. I probably only need like a stack for now and one or two more final sheep around here and I should have basically a stack so I'm gonna take that and go try to build what I wanted to build and if I need more I can always get the sheep close to where I'm building because there's a couple up there still. Alright so right here I'm gonna build the first tent I think so it will be something like this so three blocks in a row and then I'll have the sides come like four blocks out. Then I place one layer like this on each side. And this is going to take a lot more wool than I originally thought. And then for the frame to make it look better, it's just something like this it looks like. And finally a fence down the middle. And that's basically it. I need the interior still, but that's like the general shape of it. And the campsite also has a lot of blocks in the ground that are replaced with different blocks to add some nice texture so I'm gonna remove a lot of this grass if not all of it and I almost forgot I also have to place some stuff on the side here so just some stairs going all the way up and another trap door in the middle here and down the other side then one more right here I also buffed up the back so it looks more even I think it might look better like that but I could always change it too again then maybe I could also do one on the back here no, I don't think that fits. I think this is fine. And I'll piss an ore pile here because I was also in the video that I got this idea from. And then I'll piss another coal pile. Probably something like this is probably fine at this spot. Again, right here I'm going to copy and put a stove or something. It's like a 
I don't know, you'll see it. There's a cauldron and stuff. Okay, and then the fire goes right there, I think. And I should probably just place some stone there too. Then some slabs on every corner. And there we go, there's a little campfire now. And then the ground will be andesite and stone right here. And I'll place some buttons as rocks or pebbles. I may have actually overdone it a bit. <laughs> Let me remove some of these. All right, there we go, I think that is a good amount to have. Then now I'm gonna go grab some coarse dirt. Okay, I've finished this little mini area, I think, but so I just realized, why aren't the fences not connecting to this? I thought they were supposed to. Well, I may have done something wrong. I don't really know how it works. Okay, I think I'm gonna start building a little circle thing here with some different farms, because this is a good spot for something like that, I feel like. Okay, I came up with a design for the farm. I think I'm gonna try something like this. So the pillager just spawned at the side of the mountain and suffocated. It was weird. Then I might do some fence around it or not. I haven't really decided yet. Okay, I think I'm just gonna wing it and I wanna build a little mountainside base right here. I just gotta figure out the dimensions. They don't have to be perfect. I can always redo them. So maybe I'll start like right here. And I wanna build it up to somewhere around this level, I think. Yeah. And it's all gonna be stripped spruce. So let me start doing that. That maybe it would end right here, yeah. That seems pretty good. And I gotta remember to strip it. Oops. Ooh, I'm out of spruce logs. I'm gonna go get some more. And then one of the things I do have to decide for the roof is what is it gonna be? I kind of want to try like a leaf roof because I don't really know how to build roofs anyways and I think it'll look pretty nice. I just don't know how to start it. I guess maybe I could have this pillar still going this way. I don't know. But then for this inside area, what am I gonna do here? I do want a spruce floor, that's for sure. So let me start making that. Okay, so it's not even close to done, but how does this look so far? Pretty silly. But then there'll be like stone underneath it in this area. Okay, it's kind of coming together. I just stacked up and had a little bit of a look and I think I probably actually want a lot of farms here, just like free reign if that word makes any sense. So I don't think I'll have any of these little boxes, so I'll probably end up removing this. But then I'll have my base here and something else in that rock right there, maybe. And then a bunch of farms in this valley right here. Maybe, maybe not. That's my plan right now, though. So I've got to keep building this structure up here and hoping that I get it done and that it looks good. And for the stone, it's just going to be every block that is uh, doesn't have dirt in front of it. So like these, for example. If that makes any sense, you'll see when it's done. And I only have assigned me, so that's just why I'm placing for a test run. Or more like an outline run. I'm not really testing anything. Because I've built something very similar to this in the past in a different survival series. Now I've got to get up here and keep building. I think I'm just going to take this roof down a block or two. That was a little bit too high. So let's see if this is better. A nice five block gap. I think that's good enough. Because five blocks is already really tall. Okay, so that is all finished, but question is now what do i do i mean a good place to start would be the floor that's for sure then an outline for this room that i'm in would also be pretty good because a lot of the blocks are still dirt so maybe it will go back to right here so i can just mine all of this out but then for the inside do i just copy the like stone break vibe or do i try something with wood i don't know it's hard to decide but for now i think i'm gonna try to copy this stone because that's probably the easiest so let me just try a couple of the blocks and we'll go see how it looks i also need to plan out where some windows would be so three blocks here what if we do like five maybe and then no okay maybe okay i'm lost let me just plan this out real quick okay maybe five blocks and then three blocks for a window and then five blocks again Okay, so that doesn't work out with the math I've got going on here. But I think if I... Let me do some counting. So this is three and that's five. So if I move every window over one block, then it could work. Yeah, because that's a four block gap and then three three wide windows. Okay, so that all should be even. So let me start building it. And then let me go check before I keep building. I don't want to have to redo everything. Wait, is something wrong with these windows? Okay, no. Everything is still good. I just need, you know, like I said, check to make sure it looks good before I keep wasting my time building if I don't like it. I could also place some trapdoor shutters. 
I mean, yeah, hopefully that looks okay. It doesn't look even, but I think that's because there's no blocks there. Also, I think I should finish this bottom part because it looks pretty bad right now. And if I finish the bottom, it will start coming to life a bit, I think. Okay, now it is time to see how the bottom looks. So this is the bottom of the, the mountainside base. Just goes all the way down, it's kind of like... I mean, yeah, it's just a little big structure there. And I like it so far, but it's definitely missing a lot of details. I think the first detail I could add... A couple of support beams, maybe. Let's use some dirt to stack up here. Then one, two, three, maybe from the bottom. We just have a stair going up. It's also starting to rain, so it's going to get pretty foggy around here. And yeah, there we go. A little support beam at the bottom. Let's go do that on the other side. All right, and there is the support pillar on the other side over here. I keep falling down the hill. Oh my gosh. Now let me go back up and check out the other part. I want to finish this so I can see what it would look like, and I need to get some glass panes for it. These glass panes will add another layer of depth. Thankfully, I am almost done. Just a couple more blocks to pace. place, sorry. So what if I had a little balcony here instead? What do we think about that? The thing is, I don't really want a staircase though, so it might be a little bit weird. So maybe let's just keep it as a window. I also need to go get food, and like I said, I want some glass, so I'm going to go knock both of those out. Before I do that though, I can give you guys a peek. Yeah, I mean, it's not looking too bad. I like it. Let's see how it turns out though in a couple minutes of building. Okay, so let me try this roof a little bit. If I did have a leaf roof, something like this, what would this look like? So I have the little base plate roof and then I place these leaves all across. And then I definitely have to have some of them being overgrown, I think. That would just really add and help the look. So let me jump down here. Okay, now I can go check and see if I like it. And then the glass should also be done melting. Okay, the green definitely helps blend the roof, but I'm not sure this is gonna be tough. Maybe just have multiple overgrown areas that even go all the way down here. Or maybe not, you know, I don't know yet. I think I should place the glass now because I've been meaning to do it. I finally have it with me. I'm gonna make some shutters, I think they're called on at real houses. I don't really know. They go on the side of the like this oh, at that spot then let's see how this looks so then glass panes hopefully everything looks good here then i'll do one more little leaf preparation one all the way up here okay i'll connect to the top and hopefully it looks nice we almost just fell and then one more window trap door here i'm gonna need more trap doors for the last window but i'll go see if it looks good first all right, hopefully that does look nice. Let's finish the roof up now. Okay, well, it does look good. The only problem is that the light right now is facing the wrong way. So I'll give you guys a look at it when the time is better. I also have way more pork chops in this furnace that I can take. Did I need anything else from these chests? I forget. Hopefully I didn't. I don't know though. I think now I'm going to focus on getting this inside area finished, which is not very exciting. So I'll go ahead and do all of that. Just like the roof and the leaves. Okay, the roof is done, but I also kind of want to have it go into another area eventually. So I think maybe I could place some stairs on this top layer to kind of make it a little bit smaller so I don't have to dig so much stuff out. And then I could do a secondary little pillar. And let's see if that looks good. Yeah, I think it looks good enough. Then it will be smaller and an easier area to mine out, like I said. So I'm going to continue this all the way to the other side and check it out. I think I'm also going to start removing all of this area. Because like I said before, I'm going to make it just a huge wide farm instead of a like a little circle fenced in one. Because I think that will look a lot better. I do have to cover a lot of this stuff up though. But it shouldn't take me too long. Okay, I think I'm also going to make a door right here at the bottom with this little thing maybe. I need to build it more and experiment, but that's the general idea at least. And maybe I should place some stairs, like as an overhang, because it would look kind of weird if I just have it like this. Then I could also have like a lantern there maybe. Honestly, yeah, I don't know. I'm going to have to do some experimenting. Okay, I think I found a little style that I like back here. Just something like this maybe. And then maybe like just some slabs on top. I'm gonna leave like this for now. Maybe I'll change it later. It could look better, so 
Okay, so for the huge farms, I kind of want to have them separated into two. So I did place a couple of temporary fence here because I think it does kind of bring it all together to have some walls holding them in or something like that. And I might have another wall here across the path, maybe? I'm not really sure yet. All right, so I might switch up to like a stone fence thing, but I do need more andesite for that. So that's what I'm looking for right now. And I guess I could grab some more stone because I'm pretty low on that too. I just found this cave, so I'm going to mine all this andesite. And like I said, some stones, so I will be here for a little bit. Okay, so I need to pick where the farm's gonna start because I don't know what I want right here. I, I could probably put a rock here or something or maybe the cute little pond, actually. I think I should put a pond here, so maybe the farm will start on like these blocks. I guess I should just outline it with some stone. And then, I don't know, I think I won't have it go up the mountain and I will just glide along it here. I think that'll be the best choice. And then it will basically hug this side, but not actually hug it for there can still be a wall. And I just wanted to loop all the way back this way. Okay, so there is the outline. Now I just have to build it and make sure the shape is fine. Okay, the shape does look fine. I just need to also make an entrance, which I think will be right here. It's like a three block wide something maybe. And I could have it like stack up a tiny bit and have some leaves. So I'll just make that first before I know what I'm doing. So yeah, maybe something like this. Maybe not that high. That doesn't actually look too good. Oh no, I'm out of leaves. Let me go grab some. Okay, I placed some more just single blocks. I'm going to go through with some slabs and some walls and place all of them on it and try to make it look better. Okay, I've placed all the walls and slabs. I think it looks pretty okay. So now I'm going to go through with some leaves, which will, I think, be the nice final touch it needs. And also place some pebbles after. Okay, so I've placed all this stuff. I'm adding in some coarse dirt and some stone and andesite to it because I think that will make it look even better. It'll make the land look more dry and I don't know. I just feel like it will help it, but maybe it won't. I can always undo it. And one more really important thing I want to go find is actually some roses and tulips and those. It's just like the two high flowers because they really make builds look better. So I'm going to leave this farm for now and go ahead and go do that. I don't know where they spawn back and look it up. The first flower I need is right here. I think there's two more. Okay, well, I'm still looking for those other two flowers, and there's a tiger biome over here, so that might have one of them in there. So there's some flowers up there, but I think those are the ones I already have. Yeah, I already have those ones. If I'm not mistaken, though, the other two flowers I'm looking for are the rose and the lilac, I think. And actually, there's some sweet berries here, which might look good if I plant them on the ground, because it's red, and it's a nice color to add to my house. So I'm gonna harvest all these, I think. Just before I have the opportunity to use them if I do want to. There's also some moss here, so I'm going to take some of this because it does look really nice. And I don't know, maybe I'll use it for something. Okay, I actually just found the Lilax. Yeah, that's what they're called. And I'm just going to grab a bunch of them because I think you can bone with them once you place one. So now all I need to find are the roses. And then I have all three of these special flowers, which will make the build look a lot better. All right, I finally found the rose bushes, so I'm gonna steal all of these and then go back to my house and then start placing some. And we're gonna check. Okay, yeah, you can bone meal and get infinite amounts of them. So I only technically need one, but obviously I'm gonna grab more because then I don't have to waste bone meal. So I'll get every single one that I can. Okay, I made it back home. I melted in all of the pork chops I collected and I'm gonna start working on this farm really quick. I also need one of every crop though. So I think there's wheat, beetroot, carrots, and potatoes. I think that's it. I'm not counting melons or pumpkins. And there's carrots in here, and I also have potatoes in this village next to me, I think. So the first thing I have to do is plan out where I'm gonna plant each crop, and then the second thing I have to do is place the water. Or I guess I have to do both those at the same time. So I've gotta grab some dirt and then some water buckets. Okay, so so far I have this big patch right here, and I'm slowly placing some trap doors to make sure I can get everything soiled up. Okay, I have everything kind of planted. It's really messy, but I think I'm slowly getting there. Also, I don't think these blocks are getting enough water to them, so let me place another source right here. Okay, I think I've finished filling in most of the farm in spots. It's basically done. I just need more bone meal because I'm out. Then I can finish bone meal and all these crops up. 
Or I could just wait for them to grow too. The wheat is almost finished, but everything else is not very good. I guess I could break all these potatoes at bone meal and replant them. That would give me some more progress right now. Okay, I think hopefully every single spot has water on it. I don't know, because it's also raining, but... I think I'm finally done with this. Except for, obviously, like I said, the actual replanting part. But that's the easiest thing to do. I think the last thing I'll do real quick is place some flowers all across the edge. The ones that I had to go collect. Because it's going to make it look really nice. I'll show you guys in one second when I'm done placing them. And this is what it looks like so far. I think I could also try to place some spruce fence up here just to add in some more brown because it does look a little bit weird but maybe it won't look good. So I could do something like a little guardrail. I don't know, maybe just three blocks or like that. I don't know, let's see how it looks. I could also maybe place a lamp or a torch. But that might be too much, I don't know. For now, I'll leave it like this. Okay, I just bone milled some extra stuff and made everything look great and this is what this area looks like now which is really nice. It is basically done now, I think, but I gotta do some work in this house and connect this up to here because they're not actually connected yet. As you can see, the door is blank, so yeah, that's what I'm gonna do right now. Well, it actually just turned daytime and I want everybody to be able to see the build so far, so here you go. It is daytime and it looks the best right now. And then there's the camp right there and I think I want to build something there, I think I've said that already. Other than that, it is almost done, I think. Could put some animals somewhere, but I don't know if I will. Also, maybe a tree would look nice right there. I'm gonna go try that. I got plant those four azalea trees and I do think it looks better, but maybe oak would have been a better pick. I don't know. Another decoration, I kind of want to try some vines. I also added in some holes in the wall up there. I probably overdid it a bit, but I'll fix it later. I'm gonna go find a jungle now. I think I've seen one, so it probably won't take that long. Some bamboo might also look good somewhere. Okay, I found a jungle biome, so I'm gonna mine all of these vines up. I'm gonna get a lot of them and I'll grow some at my base too. I don't really want to have to wait for them to grow, so I might just try to get as many as I need. I don't know if that will be possible, but I will definitely try. And we're going to grab just a little bit of bamboo. I'm almost at two stacks of vines, and I'm going to get some more bamboo, just a stack of it, because that's more than enough. Bamboo grows really fast anyway. Okay, there's a stack. Maybe I'll go for three stacks of vines, I'm not sure yet. I think three will be more than enough for the main building at least. Okay, I'm back, and I have all of the vines now, so let me just try to place some, I guess. Also, I think I could place a couple on this, just to add some depth. That might make it look a bit nicer. And then I will do the house. Also, some of these will grow, and they might look good on stone too, because stone doesn't contrast as good, if that's the right terminology. Okay, now time for the house. I think some of these spaces definitely need some vines. Yeah, there we go. I think that makes it look better, honestly. All right, and I think when all this finish growing, it will look a lot better. But for now, I think this house is basically done, except for the interior. I also kind of want to build something in this mountain, like I said, so I'm going to start clearing out more of a space, and I might try to pick something to build. I don't know if I'll try to make it custom or for a tutorial or some pictures. I don't really know yet. Okay, I lowered her by two blocks. I think that's going to be good enough, and I want to take a couple blocks off of this, just maybe two, so I can put it back a little bit more. I mean, one block probably more wouldn't hurt. And the house will be blocking this terrain, so it doesn't matter if it looks good or not. And then I can replace all this stone with grass for it looks better. Even though the house will probably be on top of this, still I want to replace it. I'm just also expanding a little bit this way so it's easier to build on. And then I think I'm going to spend some off-camera time planning and picking what I want to build. Because it's going to take me a while and it's not really something that you can record. So, But after I pick that and finish it, the base will look really, really nice. Also, let me go harvest some of this stuff if it's grown and replant it so it can keep growing. The carrots are going to start expanding, that is good. Then I can do the beetroots it looks like, because a lot of these have grown quite a bit. Okay, the farm is growing so much. The wheat is still growing, but I barely need any of that. And then what's on this side? Oh yeah, carrots, okay. So maybe if it all grows one more time, I'll have enough to finish. Right now, I'm kind of just working on fixing up this area too. I'm making a little pond, and I placed a bunch of sugarcane around this. I think I might try to add in some pink leaves too. I don't know though yet. Okay, I've been collecting all the materials I need for a while, and I think I'm getting kind of close. Right now, I'm just collecting the oak wood I'll need. I think I will go back to my base and put all this up, and then check what I need to get next. The main thing I'm missing is the nether wood that I need for the roof, so I think I'm gonna go build a portal and do that part. I think this may be a good spot for the portal, and I'm gonna go get the wood like I said. And it looks like I got 
a pretty okay nether spawn. There's a bastion right there. So I'm gonna go mine all the trees that I need. So I think I need a little bit over a stack of stairs, then one stack of planks, and like six trap doors. So let me make those. And the last thing I need with this wood is some slabs and then just the planks, which I have enough of. All right, that's everything. Okay, so I think I finally have every single material I need to build. So I think I might replay build it or maybe not. I don't know what I'll do. Okay, so this is the outline all finished and the bottom is mined out. So I just have to start by building the walls, I think. And by the way, the tutorial is linked in the description. So the first thing I do is do four high oak wood, then four high stripped spruce. Then there will also be a spruce floor so I can go ahead and place all of that. And then this gets finished off with a glass pane window and then I just copy the other side right here. So another stripped and another plain oak. It also seems like I missed something though. I have to do it again right up here. So this oak goes this way. Then there is a stair here for now, just plain like that. And there's a doorway just like this with some plain oak all the way up here and then double on the side. So yeah, there we go. And I think, ooh, I placed this wrong. Okay, never mind. But then I do a little bit of a gradient wall here with another window, which does look pretty nice. Just something like that with the glass panes in the middle, it looks like. And the same thing right here. And then one last time on this side. And I think I'm basically just copying the back side again. So another one of these windows with these stairs. So far, this looks really great. It's a pretty good tutorial I'm following. So if anybody wants to build a fantasy house like this, it'll be linked in the description. I didn't follow any other tutorials for this video, but you know, I'm practicing my building skills and I can't build something like this yet. So I'm just cop. I mean, I guess I could if I really tried, maybe. And then the final wall of the whole building, except for the roof. All of this is stripped spruce on this side with one last window. Oops, I placed that wrong. And then one more spruce flooring like this on the roof. All right, the first stair I have to place is this one and then I actually need the spruce for now because we're gonna build that roof first. Then I think I just follow it like this and the next block is a block here. Then some more stairs. Okay, the house is finished up there. I'm gonna also finish this farm right here too because that's something I've been really needing to do. And I think all this stuff is gonna be grown since I've been building for a while. Okay, this whole farm should be done. It looks really stupid because the plants have to grow, but once it grows, I will look at it and make sure it all looks good. And it seems like I'm missing some water right here, so let me go get some from that pond I made, which I actually never finished, oops. I think the main thing I wanted to do was add some coarse dirt in here and maybe actually some cobblestone, I don't know. Maybe I'll have to do some more work on it. And like I said, I just wanted to place the water here because it will make these crops have enough water in the soil or whatever. I do have to stack up and that should be good. All right, so I think this part is a little bit of a blank space and I might go up there and add some rose bushes and lilacs and stuff like that. I just need to grab some of them and I'm gonna have to build me more because I'm out of some of them. I think like 30 or 20 of each should be good enough. Okay, this is the base so far. It's raining, so you can't really see the best shot of it, but I think I really like it and I might be done. I'm not exactly sure yet, but I don't really know if I should add anything else. I might build a huge village on top of the hill later, but not in today's episode at least. I think to finish this episode off though, I should probably build the interior of my upstairs base for I can have a place to put all of my items. So I'm gonna need to grab a couple of things to be able to build that. And I need some lighting. I'm still making a staircase all the way down. It's gonna be spruce right here and then I can cover it up starting at this block probably. Then I can use some slabs. Okay, so I got the staircase all the way down to the bottom here. Now I just have to mine out a pathway to the other room that is at the surface level. Again, then in here I have to pick some place to pit a chest room. I'm just not sure where yet. And also I have to make the walls look a little bit better with a gradient of stone and andesite and cobblestone. 
Okay, so if I have chests in every single one of these spots, there should be more than enough room. And I can have slabs on the top. Then maybe a torch at each one of these. Or in the corners, I could also do this. That would be good. And then I can continue the row right here. Okay, I also have to take out a path, and I'm gonna make it spruce, because that floor will go really well with all the stone blocks. Okay, the room is definitely starting to look good. I'm gonna also place some chests where I have a place to fit some of the stuff I have in my inventory already. Right here will be a, some cobblestone, I think, because I have a lot of that. I'm gonna be cobblestone, stone brick, and andesite. Then right here could be some dirt, probably. Honestly, I was planning on ending the episode here, but I do think I really should finish the interior, so I think I'm gonna do that too. Because interiors are fun. I bet everybody wants to watch that too. I'm gonna make everything decorated and look really nice. I could also have a little trap door wall here, but I'm not really sure if that fits, so... I don't know what I'll do yet. I could also continue this and then do trap doors in the center of every block. So it'd be something like this. And I don't think that's too bad. And then I could make doorways like this, maybe. Yeah, I might do this version. And then for the doorway that connects them, I can place the stairs again like this. The only problem with that is that this stair might try to pull this one over and over again. That kind of sucks. But to fix that, I could just use two blocks and it won't be that big of a deal. And then this will be a good spot to put a light anyway, so it kind of works out double. I need to find more places to put lights too, because this place is so dark. But I don't really know, I can't think of a good spot for them. I think while I do think about that, I can continue making this room. But I need to go get some more blocks from my chests. I can't really find any wood, I might have to go get some more. Oh yeah, wait, I never even finished this bridge either, I need to do that too. <laughs> Alright, I have a little bit of wood, that will be good enough for now, but I will have to get more at some point soon. I can also make a fence here with some fence gates, because that's a building tip I've seen a lot. The fence gates give it like a different shape and it makes it look nice. And then I can also sneak in some torches on these ends. So that gives a lot of free lighting. And this is going to be at least five wide, so I'm just going to mine this all the way to the other end. There's also this cave next to my house, so I'm going to go ahead and go through and light all of this up, because I don't want monsters spawning in here while I'm home. Also, if I light all of this up, they can be spawning other places, which will be more efficient. I also want to make a doorway apart from this one. I could probably bring these walls out one too, that would probably be more efficient. Because if I have another doorway, I could have an enchanting room that leads to or the chest room. So let me reshape these into a nice doorway. And I think I'll have it too wide again because I like that shape. With the planks right next to it and the fence lamps. I've got two lanterns now, so I'll go ahead and place those. Then this should probably just lead into the chest room somewhere. So if I do have a chest room right here, maybe I should go one block this way on both sides. And then there can be some stripped spruce wood. And then maybe some chests on these columns. Yeah, something like that will probably work fine. Let me just plan it out a bit more and make sure I want that. And for inside the actual chest room, I think I want to place some stone stairs on all of these layers. And then I'll go up into this stone gradient roof. Then there'll be some lanterns hanging down for easy lighting. Okay, I'm mining a spruce tree outside of my house with some bone mail I have, because I'm out of spruce wood now. And I do need some more to be able to finish the inside of my house. I think this back wall will also be chests, just to make sure I have extra room. Since these four spots are going to be the chest before I decide to add them here, and I think that's just not enough. This will be furnaces, this will be an enchantment table, and this will be chests too. And then I think I'll definitely have enough room in this whole place for all of my stuff. Okay, I think I'm almost done. I just need to grab my enchantment table, which is going to be easy because I have a silk touch axe. And then I need three of the other furnaces, which I will still be making with the furnace downstairs. And I think I need a couple more chests in that. And then I think I need a couple more chests and that will be done. But I could also have another entrance way right here. So maybe I shouldn't put a chest there if I don't need it. I got to craft the last blast furnace and I have three of every furnace here now too. And I'm still moving all my stuff up here slowly. It shouldn't take too much longer. I'm making some pretty good progress. I've almost moved all of my chests. I have one left, which is that one all the way over there. All right, just picked up my enchantment table too. Then I can place all the enchantment books back in the enchantment table. Then I just need to check with something. Okay, yeah, it is level 30 again. All right, this is the last chest that I have to move, so I'm just going to break it, and I'll run back and grab everything that I can't carry when I put this away. All right, I'm also going to place all of the trap doors on both these walls, so it's kind of like a flat look. The only bad part about that is that it will be hard to have lighting 
But I think I can figure something else out for it. I need to get more spruce again because I ran out. But it won't take me too long. Okay, I decided I'm gonna change up what I did a little bit. So that means I have to break all these trap doors probably. But I also have to choose the new design. Maybe just something like that would work. But that means that I can't have this whole door open, so never mind. Alright, I think something like this looks pretty cozy and it will work out as a nice hallway to the other side. So I'm gonna copy this. And then for this right here, I'm not sure what to do. I could make the pillar go to the wall. It does look a little bit out of place though. So maybe I'll just stop it like right here instead. Then the wall will continue with the one on the other side past this point, which I think looks fine. Okay, and then I'm gonna place some decorations out here, which is gonna be a flower pot and a rose. Maybe I should switch these around and put the rose here and then next to each other so you can see them out the window easier too. And I'm gonna replace the torches in this room, or not replace, maybe I'll just add in a lamp above every door because it'll look nice. All right, I'm doing some more decorating, so I'm gonna place some cauldron with leaves in the corners and two armor stands right here with some gold armor and iron armor on the other one. Then I will repeat the cauldron leaves on the corner over here as well, just to add some more color and stuff. Okay, I think that's the interior of this house finished for now. I'm gonna add more stuff in the future probably, but I don't really know what else I could add at this moment. This bottom room isn't finished because I had to move the chest room that I decided to break. But then this is the last room I have to show off, and it looks like this. I like all of it a lot. And I'm also gonna enchant a sword. Sharpness 3, looting 2, that's pretty good. Here is the bridge for anyone wondering what it did to it too. I put some stairs on the bottom to give it some more depth, and put some pillars holding it up. So I really like how it looks now. It is pretty basic, but I like basic. There's a couple things I want to finish, and the first of them being making this path official all the way back up to this house. It is pretty steep though, so I've got to round it out a bit and give it some more room. So let me start doing that. Okay, I'm out of dirt. I have to go get more. I kind of forgot to take some from the chest. Okay, I've got the dirt and I'm ready to round all this out a bit. Hopefully it will look good after. I need to hire these sides up a little bit though. Or does it doesn't start looking too weird. I don't want everything to look proportionate if that's a thing. Okay, just a couple more layers I have to bring down. And that should be everything. And then the path will hug this corner all the way over here. Okay, I'm just also terraforming this to make everything look good, and then I'll replace all of the stone, except these, because those actually look kind of good, I think. And then just a couple more blocks to fix this area, and yeah, I think that's a pretty good job. I could also expand the dirt all the way over here to these stone areas and place some lanterns down here for nothing spawns. Okay, so I think this area is actually done now once I finish the pathway, because before the house was done, but there wasn't technically a way to get up to it. Which is kind of weird, because if you have a house, I think you'd want to be able to get there. Alright, perfect. There we go. Ooh, there's some blocks you can see through, though. Let me fix that. And then I just take the path this way. And everything is now connected up. Perfectly. Now once all the grass grows, this area will look a lot better, and I can add some bushes and things on these corners. One more thing I should probably finish is cleaning up this area that I used because I do want to keep expanding my builds in the next part of the series which will include the top of the mountain and all the way over here too. So yeah I'm gonna remove all this sugar cane and I'll block up all of the water as well. And then also I'll do a little bit of terraforming and remove this top layer off I think to give some extra space. That way when I do decide what to build I'll have a lot of room to do it. And room that is flat. Then I'll need a bridge at some point, so maybe I should build a temporary one out of dirt. I'll start with trap doors, so I can remember the spot. And then I'll use dirt, because I don't think grass can grow to this. But if I can, then who cares, I guess. And the bridge will have to go up at least a couple blocks, so I'm not sure when I should have it do that. Maybe like right here, actually. Then I could have another like four blocks. And then I could go up one more time, all the way here. Okay, I think that'll be a good bridge when I do decide to make it. I'm not gonna make it in this episode though, I already did a bridge. And it'll be fun to save it for another day. 
But what I will do is help some of the terraforming up here too. And start it. I think removing two layers right here would be nice. Also, I have a tradition on my 100 days videos to say, if you're watching at this point and you can hear me, then leave a comment to confuse everybody and for I know that you watched the whole video. So today that comment will be, watch out Mr. Sheep. Okay, everybody comment that. Watch out Mr. Sheep because he has to watch out. He might fall off the cliff. So if you want to make sure he watches his path, then, you know, comment, watch out Mr. Sheep and I'll part your comment if you comment that. Anyways, I finished this terraforming area and I think this episode is coming closer and closer to an end. I'm really happy with all the progress we got done because the base looks beautiful. I just almost lost my world from falling. I'm very, very not careful sometimes. You know, it'd be cool if I like transform this village too right here and I had a village up there or something or maybe I'll have a different structure up there. There's a lot of different options I can do, so... I should also breed these pigs maybe. Because like I said before, I was, maybe I should bring animals there, but I just don't know what spot I'll use for animals yet. That might be on top, so I don't want to make a pen that I'll remove later on. If you guys also have any ideas for builds, then please leave them in the comments. I was thinking of building like a zoo with every animal. I know some people have done that, but I love animals as you can see from my videos. I always try to protect them. And then maybe a video making like a super villager trading hall or something. Because usually people like abuse the villagers, but what if I make like something that houses the villagers and it's really nice, like a villager city. I don't know, something like that could be cool, but I don't know if I'm capable of doing that. If you have any cool ideas like that though, I would love to hear them in the comments. And I might end up making a video on it. Oh yeah, one more thing I could finish is this path to the top of the hill, then maybe I could end the video there. Because I think this path has been five wide, so let me keep pushing it over here. And before I go any further, let me just make sure I have an actual path to put it on. So I think I'll go to like right here, then the path will start up going this way again. And then we'll slowly move it over to the side here. And then where does it keep going up? Maybe we terraform this right here. That will probably be the best option to do. And I could shrink the path a little bit. That would probably help. I'm just trying to carve this out still. It's going pretty okay. I need to get up to the top of this mountain right here, but it's getting more and more steep. So it's kind of difficult to do that. Because at the moment, I'm just kind of like shaving the mountain off. And if the mountain keeps going up, there's no mountain to shave off anymore. This is a huge hill. So yeah, I got to drill all of this out, it looks like. And over here too. All right, I think I'm almost done with this. And then the last thing I have to do is obviously take these blocks out. And then round this side. And finally, let the path box come up to the final layer. I think this is where I'm going to stop because I have no idea where I'm going to build the village or structure up here if I do end up building something. So I'll have to leave it because maybe I'll go all the way around this way or up. Yeah, I don't know because I haven't started building it. So I'll leave that for a future video and just fix this part for now. And I think that is a pretty good pathway complete. I can actually show it off real quick. Ignore all of the plain areas, because I can add bone meal and flowers and leaves later. So just imagine it looks like all this down there. It looks very full of life and color. Now I will start paving the path with this shovel, just making a way all the way up to the top. Five wide again. Or maybe I should start doing three wide, I don't really know. Now five wide just has a different feel, it has to be five. Yeah, this is looking pretty steep and narrow, but like I said, it doesn't really matter. I just really like how all this looks, and especially this main base area. So I think that will do it for this video. I'll shut off that house. I'll shut off this house too real quick in the outro. If you want to see the next episode in this series, click the video on screen. If the video is on screen, then that means the next episode isn't out. But there's also going to be a playlist in the description. If you want to see an episode 2, 3, 4, or maybe a full series, then just leave a like and subscribe and share it with a friend. Because if these videos do good, then I'll definitely make a full series out of this every week or two. Or probably every two weeks. I have a lot of ideas and you guys can leave your ideas in the comments too. But yeah, I think I might use this house for like a secret entrance to somewhere. That's why I didn't do the interior from the video. The tutorial is in the description though. Please go check it out. It's a pretty underrated video for the build being that good. But yeah, anyways, thank you everybody for watching. I really appreciate it. Check out my other videos. And video is still on screen if you want to watch episode 2 if it's out. And place in the description. See everybody in the next one.